rowing. Film music. Let's go! Traveling. Training. Long ago, my four lifestyles lived together in disharmony. Then, everything changed when the Camera Nation attacked. This is the new C-70? Only a rowing documentary, mastery of all cinematic elements, could unite them. But when the rowing world needed it most, traditional media stood in the way. One year has passed since my friends let me film them on their Olympic journeys, a film unnamed. And although some of the shots are great, I have a lot to finish before I'm ready to show anyone. But I believe this will be my greatest creation yet. Let's go. It's going to take some time to finish editing the documentary and tons of footage and whatnot to sort and stories to weave, but it's been a hell of a year. So much has happened in 2021 from my friend Josh snapping his leg to starting my own digital media company. Uh, it all started when I upgraded my video camera to the Canon C70. Uh, it's an intro cinema camera and had this urge to create something a bit more meaningful and substantial than my daily vlogs. So I drove down to Texas, lived with Chet, started filming videos about the US lightweight rowing programs. But while I was there, I had a chance to film all these other incredible athletes and it expanded to cover essentially the entire US Olympic trials journey. So we all left Texas for Sarasota and I filmed Olympic trials one where tons of my friends won. I now had a journey to follow. So when I got back to Philly for spring, I started coaching my high school's rowing team, finished editing videos for content and filmed some new ones. Went on some dates with Aaron, filmed US Rowing Trials 2 because they're nearby. Uh, had a cat show up in the backyard and we nicknamed him Vic. You know, I capped off the spring with a last second passport renewal. Uh, before flying to Switzerland, so thanks Mr. Bickhart for the help there. Since I was denied media credentials, uh, I just sort of sent it and was able to capture the most intense moments in elite rowing at the Regatta of Death. That was my best video so far, and the support I've received has been incredible. Uh, later in the summer, the actual Olympic Games took place, and while I was not there in person, red tape and COVID, uh, my heart sure was. Summer just started off right with Hudson flying me down to Youth Nats. Uh, I upgraded my editing studio from what you can see and filmed the Riverside Lightweight Quad Selection Camp, a Penn AC summer rowing teams. And I even announced that the US Rowing Nationals, Summer Nationals. Good morning, US Rowing. Club Nats, they changed the name. My dad got some new knees, uh, went on an RV trip to Maine with Aaron. And after three months, I eventually finished my FOQR video and I actually started making some money from YouTube. Plus the support from my patrons, uh, you guys are awesome. Once fall began, Aaron flew to Ireland to work. Uh, I went back to coaching my high school team again. Uh, I went to Duke for an alumni rowing weekend, uh, filmed some of my first non-rowing client projects and started training relatively consistently again for Head of Charles and Head of Schuylkills. Schuylkills, with Chet and the boys at Undine. Uh, Head of Charles was insanely fun and packed. I got most of my interviews for my documentary done, so that was nice. After the fall racing season uh, and Chet's bachelor party in Nashville, I finally made it back to Ireland for the first time since March 2020. I got to see Aaron, all my Irish friends and classmates, uh, my old housemates, and finally retrieved all the stuff that I left there. So thanks for not selling it, Rob. You absolute legend. Uh, right before coming back, we went on a trip to County Kerry and it was probably the prettiest views and locations and time of year. One of the prettiest places I have ever been. Once I got back, I incorporated my digital media company, EPG Digital LLC, and was officially brought in as Chief Marketing Officer for Athlete Fan Club. So there's a few more opportunities lining up for 2020, so stay tuned. Oh, man, what a year. Tons of new friends thousands of new fans of the channel, and I got to film some of the most incredible athletes. I'm also a huge fan of F1. That was a ton of fun to watch and follow through the season, even though Lewis got absolutely robbed, but I am overall happy that Max won. 
Thanks to everyone who's followed and supported me. Cheers to Haverford, Hudson, Cody, Chet, Rob, uh, 776 of Head Sweats, codes down below. My parents, obviously, uh, Aaron, and of course, all of you for the love and support that you've given me this year. Next year should be just as fun. Also, I wanna give a huge shout out to Seamus on 13 months. Super proud of you, buddy. Let me know what your favorite vids and moments from this year were down below. Happy holidays and uh, see you guys next year.